Hi Future Engineers! I'm Engineer Micaela Palaganas, also known as Engineer Ella, a chemical engineer and a content creator. In this video, we are going to learn on how to utilize Casio FX 570S Plus 2nd Edition in solving problems in chemistry. Balance the chemical reaction, tin oxide plus hydrogen yields tin plus water. Usually, we balance chemical equations by inspection. This is often believed to be a trial and error process and, therefore, it can be used only for simple chemical reactions. However, balancing by inspection does not produce a systematic evaluation of all sets of coefficients that would potentially balance an equation. Another common method of balancing chemical reaction equations is the algebraic approach. In this approach, coefficients are treated as unknown variables or undetermined coefficients whose values are found by solving a set of simultaneous equations. This is what we're going to do in this problem. The first step is to represent the unknown coefficients as letters x, y, z, and w. Next, we set up atomic balance equations. The number of atoms serve as the multipliers for the variables. The arrow sign separates the left and right side of the equation and can be thought of as the equal sign. For SN balance, in the left side of the equation, there is only one atom of tin, multiplied by x, so that's x. On the right side, we also have one atom of tin, so it becomes z. For O balance, we have two atoms of oxygen on the left side, so that would be 2x and only one atom on the right side. So, our second equation will be 2x equals w. The same can be done with H balance, yielding 2y equals 2w as our third equation. However, we have four unknowns, namely w, x, y, and z. But we only have three equations, meaning we can solve this simultaneously yet. What we can do is to assign an arbitrary value to one of the variables, say, for w. We can let w equals 2. Then, we will rearrange the equation in the form of ax plus by plus cz equals w. By doing this, we can reduce our problem to three equations with only three unknowns. This becomes easily solvable using our Casio FX 570ES Plus second edition. So, let's do it in our calculator. First, press mode and then choose 5 equation. Next, choose 2 a and x plus b and y plus c and z equals dn. Then, we have to input the coefficients of our 3 equations. So, for the first equation, we have 1 for x, 0 for y, and negative 1 for z. And for z, on the right side, we only have 0. For equation 2, we have 2, 0, 0, and 2 on the right side. And for equation number 3, we have 0, 2, 0, and 4. By pressing equal sign, we will get x equals 1, y equals 2, and z equals 1. And of course, including our initial value of w equals 2, this becomes the coefficient of our balanced equation as shown here. So the final answer is SNO2 plus 2H2 yields SN plus 2H2O. That's it for today's video. I hope that you learned how to utilize your Casio FX 570ES Plus 2nd Edition in balancing chemical equations. Thank you and see you on our next videos.